Y'all, in the first week, the first week that I was here, I spent $16,905.55 on groceries. Dizzy with the locks once again back with some wonderful helpful news and tips on how to live in Jamaica. Y'all, before I even get started on today's topic, make sure if you haven't already that you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Please like the videos if you guys are wow, I might get massive. Please, of course, like my videos if you guys are actually rocking with me. Of course, you can always turn the notification bell on. That way you can know my next videos are posted as well. Leave a couple comments if you don't mind. And of course, share my videos. Because you want everybody to be well equipped. And I will keep saying well equipped until I no longer can equip you guys with the knowledge that I have up here. Okay, all right, cool, we go, all right. All right, now that we got that whole entire intro over, y'all, uh, today's gonna be a little bit different in my video. I, I can't sit like that, that is uncomfortable. Why do you guys keep telling me to sit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's the camera's on, we got like certain angles and stuff like that. Is this, is, is that camera on too? That, that one. Can, can, can you turn that one on? No, no, angle a little bit. Angle a little more. No, turn the camera towards facing the wall. Yeah, because only needs to be one camera on me. I don't need multiple angles. You know what I'm saying? It's conflicting. I wouldn't know where to look. I'm looking over there, here, looking at y'all. Look at y'all over there. I, I wanna know. Yeah. Alright, as I was saying, y'all, today's gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna do a bit of a voiceover as much as I possibly can. That way y'all don't have to see my face the whole entire time. Um, but yeah, y'all, so, uh, many of you guys have probably heard it's kind of expensive to buy groceries in Jamaica. Let me tell you, it depends on what your budget is, it depends on how bougie you are, it really depends on what you can do, what you can live with, and what you can live without. Because I can definitely tell you, when we go to the store, I can buy things cheap, but there are certain products such as, like, chicken. And I love chicken. And I'm not... Like, if anybody knows, like, a fitness person, a bodybuilder, a physique person, a powerlifter, kind of powerlifting, you know, maybe they eat some of those things. But for the most part, chicken is, like, almost the, the staple. Chicken, rice, potatoes, pasta. Like, we have to have a protein source, and chicken just happens to be the leanest. And that's one of the things that I've kind of ran into an issue with down here, is that's kind of expensive, especially if you want to get, like, you know, boneless chicken breast, pretty expensive. Uh, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a snapshot on what it's like to actually shop. Um, these are a lot of products that I have bought. Cause I'm pretty simple, and even when I was in uh, when I was in Cali, uh, when I was in San Diego, uh, I would only spend probably about thirty to forty dollars a week. And that's because we had a grocery outlet, we had uh, Fufales, we had Ralph's, um, and all those offer pretty discounted uh, prices, as well as if you want to go like Dollar General or something like that. So I, I got discounted prices on a lot of things, so I can get things for bougie for half the price, especially at Grocery Outlet. Shout out to Grocery Outlet, Bargain Market. For anybody who knows what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. Anyways, y'all, enough with the chitter chatter. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, when I walk into the store the very first time uh nothing really like caught me off guard i was probably more caught off guard of the fact that it looked and resembled the exact same way as let's say like a ralph's would in the states or like a walmart would in the states or like an h&b would i think that's what it's called in the states 
Like 100% y'all, when I tell you that when I went through, if you were to go around the perimeter of this whole entire store, you could grab everything that you would need to supply you a nutrient dense diet. But not only that, you would be able to get some other things to add as kind of um, luxury as well. Now the prices in here, I uh, have a lot of snapshots, just you know, pictures and stuff so you guys can get an idea of it. The prices are pretty reasonable. I think that the import tax does increase some of the products that they do have in here. But with that being said, it's nothing It's not too reasonable of a price. Now, one thing that does kind of confuse me is that when I looked up and I seen, you know, just about how much Jamaicans make as a uh, minimum wage, it's pretty low. Um, because a lot of these products, if I were to buy like, let's say one bottle of wine or to buy like two cartons of chicken already, I've already reached my weeks like max of how much I can possibly make in a week on minimum wage. That right there is crazy to me because I'm thinking to myself like, how do people actually um, eat a sufficient amount to keep them uh, well, alive and healthy, especially if you're feeding more than one mouth. Because my mouth in itself, I already know for a fact, I do eat simple, but I can definitely tell you that in all honesty, I eat enough for probably two to three different people. But, you know, I digress. just basically say that uh for the most part you know you got people in here and the carts are full the area that i was in specifically was probably a little more touristy because a part in mo bay that uh i did see a sprinkle here and there of you know white folk or something and i know that in most other places you're not really going to see too many white folk and i'm not saying white folk like they've been living there i'm talking about like they don't even look like they even dress like they live there at all so I can tell in a way that, you know, some of these people will be tourists um, and everything. And, you know, some of these prices may be marked up a little bit. But this is a pretty good idea because if you're going to be staying in any place, you you obviously want to be in a place that you're a little bit more comfortable with at the same time. Uh, but just know and be aware. Uh, be smart. You know, take a calculator if you have to. I mean, most phones have calculators on them. Make sure you have your conversion, add up the numbers, make sure everything looks right. Make sure you guys are getting the right quantity of what you want. Make sure you guys are getting the right quality of what you want, because if you don't, that could be a problem. Um, I can tell you some of the times I get paper towel, toilet paper is a certain brand that it's like, it just falls apart when I look at it. And I was pretty um, upset about that. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, my um, you know, glimpse into what it's like to shop in a uh, Jamaican grocery shop uh, that was Progressive Foods. <laughs> yeah, that place is called Progressive Foods. That one just happened to be in an area that, that's in Mobay. Uh, and you know, that's a place I've been going to shop in. It's closest to where I'm at, it's where my gym's at. It's like an hour walk from me, which I like to walk a lot of places, but it's probably like a 15 minute drive from where I'm living at right now. Um, again, I didn't really go through like, I was giving you guys an idea of what, you know, random products and stuff like that spread throughout with some toiletries, some food and stuff like that. But again, if you all would like to actually see me do like a whole entire grocery list, I can do that. But like my grocery list is a little different. Like this is the first, receipt that I got. I'm a receipt saver. It's very smart because it keeps track of things and you all don't save receipts, take pictures of them or something. Um, the first time I spent $10,640 and then I spent $6,264 like two days later. 
Yo, I spent, in the first week of going to the store, I spent about seventeen to eighteen thousand dollars. Actually, I want to do the math on that real quick. Yeah, so let's do the math on this one. We got six, two, six, four point six plus. Y'all, in the first week, the first week that I was here, I spent $16,905.55 on groceries. That's way too much. Um, when you look at that, that comes out to around $100. Yeah, it's about like, but like if you were spend a hundred dollars a week, you're already gonna be spending about four hundred dollars a month on groceries. That's just too much. Now, without those, thankfully this week I got a little smarter. I only spent five thousand one hundred forty dollars and eighteen cents on my groceries. But that being said, y'all, it's just about making a grocery list, sticking to it, budgeting, and knowing exactly what you're gonna buy. Same exact thing you guys do in the states. Just know that some foods, like chicken is a little bit more expensive. You know, meat's a little more expensive and stuff like that, but y'all can make it work out, really. It's really not that hard to make it work out. You just gotta be smart with it, you know what I'm saying? Just be smart with it. Y'all, thank you for rocking with your boy. Of course, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I have a new video come out. Make sure you guys go ahead and tap that like button. Of course, you can leave a comment or two if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, concerns or any type of suggestions, or you just want to say hey and say what's up to me, you can do that as well. And of course, send me videos because you know, like I said before, I ain't even going to say it once again. So, dizzy with the locks, over and out. Peace. I come to love myself again, yeah. For all the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go.